How much quality is on a master tape? This question comes from JD in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Hey Paul, with the SACD, which is the uh, Super Audio Compact Disc, which is uh, the, here at Octave Records, we make SACDs because they use DSD and it's a great format. Anyway, uh, and high-res releases from the 50s and 60s coming out daily. I was wondering what the quality of, let's say, something like Kind of Blue, Miles Davis, uh, great track. Um, does it warrant the high-res treatment? Y your new studio uses technology that wasn't even dreamt of back then, and you're putting out music at a much higher bit rate than they ever could have, which is true. But does a four-track reel-to-reel going at 15 imps, inches per second, and we call them ips, um, hold more information than a standard CD can play? What am I missing? Well, and I guess the question he's asking is, why in the world would you do a high-res version of an old um, tape? Like, so this, this is, at, at Octave Records, we, we, we use this shooter, which was Neil Young's. And Neil Young made, you know, great, great music on analog tape through this console. So why, given the uh, limitations of analog tape, which, you know, you're lucky to have gotten 15, 16K out of it, there was limited dynamic range, why would you go to all the trouble to make a high resolution version? And I guess the answer is, it's complicated because you can make an excellent standard compact disc master off of an old tape master that can sound great. I mean, truly great. And to your point, we know that standard 44.1 CDs have far more bandwidth, far more um, frequency responsibility to, than, than a tape ever will have. Okay, so you've got this wide bandwidth, uh, good uh, dynamic range that you can just take this, this squeezed up tape and copy it without any kind of loss whatsoever, technically, okay? And if you have a good mastering engineer like our own Gus Skinnis, I've heard him do it and it can sound great and really excellent. Many times they aren't done so well because for some reason, engineers want to make it better, get rid of some of the hiss and do this or that, and they kind of muck it up. You know, you want a real copy of this thing and you don't want to make it better. But I will tell you that listening here in the studio uh, to the difference between high resolution DSD copying a tape a voice, whatever we're trying to do, versus a PCM, a, a CD PCM version. The difference is obvious and big. They just aren't the same. And I don't have, well, I have neither the skill nor the time to try and explain it all. I have my theories. Um, there's a, a, PCM is a lot more digital, where DSD is far more analog. And so what would we want to do? Well, we, if you just think about it in the short term, you'd want to make an analog copy of an analog master tape, because as soon as we turn it into a digital version, we're going to get some of that digital sound to it, that some of that glare, uh, if we're not really careful. So there's a whole bunch of reasons, but it's not just the high resolution part, because you're right, we don't need all that resolution. We don't need all that dynamic range to capture this much. There are other reasons, and it's the way it sounds that makes the difference. And that's the best I got. I, I, I wish I could give you a more technical answer, but these videos are short, and uh, I'm not sure I know exactly, technically, why. I can tell you what I hear, and you can hear the same if you find the right mastering engineer because uh, it, it really does make a difference how you do it. And the higher resolution versions are 
better sounding. Okay, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.